There was a sister who um, walked into the NZF office and she wanted to apply for Zakat. You know, we got the application form out for her and everything. This is the process explained to her. Turned out that uh, she was actually a single mother of five kids. And her story is extraordinary. Not only was she raising five kids on her own, one of her daughters was actually dealing with a brain tumor and went through a very, very, very serious surgery. And Alhamdulillah came out of it and was on the recovery. So we got the application out, she applied. And two days later, we get a call from her. She's saying that she would like to withdraw her application. I was just confused, I was like, why? Why do you want to do that? What happened? And she goes, you know, I was thinking and I felt bad that I'm coming and I'm asking for zakat when there might be other people that need help more than me. And that was just a shocker to me. She was at probably the worst point in her life thinking of others. Of course, we reassured her. We said, no, you've already applied. We've processed your case and we've already been approved. So we went ahead and we provided her with the assistance. Three months later, she was actually able to get a job. She started to get income in and she was so moved. She wanted to give back and she said, is there something that she can do? This was one of those things that really, really inspired me because it's not easy to go out of your way and ask for help. So this Ramadan, I know a lot of us are going to be thinking about our own zakat. So when we make that commitment, let's come this Ramadan and pay local and let's take care of each other. So go to nzfcanada.com and make your donation today.